Hi everyone, welcome to Cape Town. Now I've got a whole bunch of things for you to do this weekend that are all under 50 Rand and actually most of them are free. Of course we've got to start at Maker's Landing at the cruise terminal. They've got great foods but they've also got a thrift market so if you got $20 in your pocket, well actually you don't need $20 because it's actually free entry. They also have the gaming tournament where the groups of guys are going to be playing FIFA against each other. That should be an epic view. That should be epic. That should be epic. Next up is Putt Putt. We've got two locations for this one. We've got the one at Sea Point, which is open air. And then we've got this cave one that's actually in a cave at the VNA waterfront. So all you budding Gary players and Ernie Elsa's. Um, are there any other modern golfers? Well, anyway, for all you Putt Putters, get out there and enjoy it. No prizes for guessing. This is one of my favorite places in Cape Town. Company Gardens, 100% free, unless you're buying nuts for the squirrels. And buy them nuts because they will mug you. <laughs> and the birds as well, bring them some bread. But it's a great place for a picnic uh, and just to walk around and enjoy the fresh air of Cape Town. Get down to the v grab yourself some change and go and watch the performance. There are so many great performers out there playing music. doing all sorts of weird tricks and wonderful things and statues that come to life and put some money in it. It's a cheap thing to do and they really appreciate it. But really guys, I sort of play tennis differently from that. <laughs> wow, what is he doing? Prepare for cuteness overload. That's right, we're visiting the penguins at Boulders. Yes, it is under 40 Rand to visit them. So go and enjoy them, go swim with them and, and when they start to sing, Yeah, you know why they're called jackass penguins. <laughs> they do really sound like that. That building behind me is a natural history museum. Actually, that's a statue monument type thing. That building is a natural history museum. And they have them all over. You've got the slavery one. You've got the Rustin something where they've got pottery and art. And of course, the natural history museum. And it's not all about stuffed animals. There are a lot of them. It's also got some whale bones and of course cave paintings. Okay, time to bust a move. Actually, I don't really know how to salsa, but you can learn at the Mojo Market. They've got some great salsa classes every weekend where you can learn to salsa and then salsa with hundreds of people. It is so much fun, guys. And you get to bust a move, just not the hips. <laughs> One of the best ways to explore the city is to do a free walking tour. Yeah, that's free. All you do is you tip the guy when he's finished and based on how good he is. But you do get to see a lot, a lot of Cape Town this way. They've got various ones where you can try some of the foods. You can actually go out and uh, see the historic stuff. And they've also got the Walk to Freedom, which I think is all about Nelson Mandela. So get out there, put on your comfy shoes and explore. Next up, we're on our way to Grand West Casino. Yeah, I did say this is a list of under 50 Rand, so I'm just gonna quickly teach you how to count cards. <laughs> no, of course I'm kidding, of course I'm kidding. Because they've got other activities like temp and bowling, laser tag, and of course ice skating. Next up is number, um, I've lost count. But anyway, you guys can count and let me know what number this is. But it's a walk down Sea Point Promenade. It's absolutely 100% free. It's healthy, and you're not actually gonna have to have hazards like what I've got here. <laughs> but anyway, you can see the sea, and you've got a nice place to walk around. And it's great to be free. Head on down to Woodstock and check out the street art. Is it street art or is it graffiti? I don't know. It just looks awesome, and you guys should go check it out. Maybe you'll spot a new Banksy out there. Ha <laughs> ha! Apparently, they're worth millions. The company gardens are awesome. Everyone would agree, but wait until you see Greenpoint Urban Park. They have a sundial that's massive. They've also got a great kids area and there's ponds and all sorts of things, but the best is the labyrinth. Yeah, go get yourself lost in the labyrinth. Actually, I think it's mazes you get lost in. I'm not sure what you get lost in in labyrinths. Maybe it's contemplating the universe or something like that. No weekend list for Cape Town would be complete without the markets. That's all I wrote in my notes. I'm not actually sure. I thought something would pop into my head and I'd be able to talk to you. But hopefully you're seeing some great footage of markets. There's the Mojo one and others. But anyway, next time I'll write better notes for you guys. <laughs> markets in Cape Town. Well, if you're still here with me, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to share with your friends because, well, everyone wants to do cheap things in Cape Town. These are all under 50, all free. Well, everyone, thanks for watching. And go and enjoy the weekend. It's awesome. It's Cape Town. See you again next time.